Hi, I'm Mayer from Azure Monitor Log Analytics team. In this session, we will talk on how to design your workspace, or to put it more simply, how many workspaces do you need? This is a very common question we hear from customers, and our answer is usually depending on what your business needs, but you want to keep them as few as possible. We work with very large organization, mission critical and all, and some of them, the ones that are designing it in advance, can go to less than 10 workspaces. And that makes the life of the administrator and, and the ability to locate your data much, much easier. So what do you need to consider when designing it? So the first thing is regulation. Regulation usually tells you where you need to put your data, in which geography, and this is something usually there is zero flexibility with. So that's, of course, the first thing. The second thing is about control. Who has control on the data? Who can delete it theoretically? Who can change the setting? Who decides which plan go to each table? If you have different authorities within the organization, you might need different workspaces for each one of them. I was talking, for example, to a CISO, security officer of a big company, and the guidance that he was giving his people is that no one should have the ability to delete a workspace with security data. So that means that the security folks need control. And the last but not least, but very common scenario is about dev and pod. Dev and pod usually have very, very different needs. For development, you don't need retention. You usually want to use the cheapest option. Uh, and for pod, on the other way, you have the, all the regulations. You need to retain the data longer. And you have different needs regarding which analytics you run on the data. So usually, you want to separate the two to two different workspaces. And now let's take a look about what not to consider. What are non-issue? First thing that I'm being asked is about scale. We can scale a single workspace to hundreds of terabytes of data per day. That's not a problem. You don't need to think about anything regarding to scale where you design your workspace. We can have, and we do have, huge workspaces in the system. And that's not a problem. The technology behind the, the curtain is taking care of that. The second thing is multiple teams. How you manage multiple teams ingesting and consuming data. And we have a lot of mechanisms to deal with that. Things like resource-centric queries and also all the granular RBAC that we provide. So all of them give you the ability to ingest data to a single place and consume it the way that your customers want you to consume it. And last but not least is regions. There is no need to have your workspace where your resources are. In many cases, if you use like one or two regions, yeah, put them in the same place. But in cases where you have multiple regions or you have regions that are not suitable to put the workspace there because of availability zone or whatever it is, there is no need. You can go cross region. There might be networking cost for that, but the cost is really, really minimal compared to the overall system. Thank you very much. I hope this was useful. For more details, look at our documentation.